I, I said, you know, like, we don't like throwing each other a lot over and over and over again. It's annoying. Right? I showed you the throw with Frank so you can understand the concept. But what I did was, this is called inside shoulder throw. In other words, I'm on the inside of his body. Right? And when we go on the outside, this is the one that even in Shuijo, we say, like, okay, once you get there, even the people that throw all their students around, they go, oh, yeah, with the outside one. Right? I'm going to show you a couple of techniques to get into this stuff. So, again, this is not so friendly to combat. This is not friendly. Right? But for example, let's say you go over his Okay, so again, here. Now remember, I told you there's different ways I can deal with this. Right? And it depends on how he's standing and what I'm, my inclination is. As a teacher, I have to know like 50 variations on everything. Right? Because I show you the 50, and you're going to gravitate toward one or two. Right now, the problem is that the one that appeals to me, one or two, may not be the one or two that appeals to you. That's why I need the 50. You're not going to need 50. This one, you grab it, right? So, again, I can come like this, pal. Right? And, and obviously, one of the things also I'm doing is, see my hand? I'm turning this one. So, this is like what we call farm power, though, in mm -hmm. Kung Fu, right? So that I come through here. Now, this just right by itself is a joint lock. Right? And it's not a nice one either. It's like a painful one. And you can imagine though, if I then decided to bend my knees and bend forward, not only would, you know, two things happen. This would go snap, and this would go smash. All right? So this is both chin on, mean joint locking, and shui, meaning throw. Because I can go to the joint lock, and then I can apply some pressure and give you the option of giving up. Or if I just want to be done with you, I can do it all in one motion and throw. So the same thing with the grab right? So I come here. Now I may want to do it with him grabbing, with me grabbing him so he can't let go. Right? In other words, I can just do this, and if he's stubborn, he's giving me the position. But if I'm not convinced he's that stubborn, I do it by holding him. And I step through the same way I was stepping through before, turn, right? And you notice I don't even need this hand, but for one, it's there. Right? Some people will actually grab the head and pull it through. And then, like I said, if you want to make it a throw, you bend and you come forward. And he's going to tell you as soon as I do that, he doesn't want to have anything to do with it anymore. Right? That's what you're going to want to do. Now, the thing is, it's just so, the reason that this technique is great is if he's going to try to block the hip, and I'm going to break your So he goes, oh, yeah, I'm safe. I blocked the hip. And I go, snap. Am I making this sense? Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're doing this first one, the Chinna one, and then I'm going to show you some other variations. Right? Okay. All right. So we did an inside shoulder throw, and I showed you one entry to that. I showed you one entry to the outside shoulder throw. I'm going to show you a second entry, right? Which is we have this thing now. Sometimes, like when people are reaching for you, you can okay, you this one, right? I I want to stop his hand, but I don't want to just stay here. I want to always be progressive. This is why when they say on um, martial arts like a chess match, if you play chess, right, you're not just thinking about that move, you're thinking like three or four or five moves ahead. So when I stop him, I don't arm drag. Arm drag, there's a couple of variations. The one you don't want to do, and if anybody tells you this, they don't really know how to arm drag, because people tell you to grab here. If he's sweating, you're not going to get anything here. It's got to be high up. I can either, either do like with the thumb into the so for what I want to do right now, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do the one here. Because what I'm going to do is do this. And I'm trying to pick here. I'm not just, I think we drag this way or I think we drag this way. I'm going to do the drag here this way because then I step around and I'm in my outside shoulder throw. So this is an outside shoulder throw off of an arm drag. Catch. And again, I don't want to come here because I'll miss. I want to come up here. And actually, if you notice, I'm not really dragging with my hand. I'm dragging with like my, my arm. It finally ends up in my hand. It doesn't start in my hand. If it starts in my hand, I can miss it. If it starts in my arm, it ends up in my hand. Right? I'm sorry. There. Oh, no. no. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> Boom. And I pick it up. So that if it, I have that space, I come through. And then here, you can see how I'm right in that position to shoulder throw. Do not shoulder throw, right? I already said that, right? Just get in the position. So maybe from here, right? 
drag hot so that the alarm goes up hot. I'm going to show you also what happens if you don't drag high in here and then you're not able to get underneath. There's something else I can do. But for here, we're going to do this, and then this hand comes through like POW. So if you've done the longer with me, there's your POW, and you're turning around. Right. 